In this video, I'll be reviewing the Epson EcoTank ET2400 printer. I'll talk about what I liked about it and what I disliked. So let's get started with what I liked. And by the way, if you want to get it from Amazon, check the affiliate links in the description down below. I get a small commission and this is a great way to support my channel, which is not sponsored by anyone. Well, I had the chance to print many different documents, as you see here with this printer, and in general, I'm quite pleased with the results. Even when printing pictures, this is on plain paper, but it also prints on glossy paper very well, as you see. I never had any issue. The color are very representative comparing to the original pictures, and there is plenty of details. This printer is able to print at a resolution of 5760 by 1440 dpi, which is not bad at all, especially for a home printer. And this means that if you're gonna print text documents like this one, this means that you won't have any problems at all. This is the easiest task you can give this printer actually. When checking some color graphics, it has no troubles with color accuracy and everything looks good. This printer has a scanner on the top. It's very compact, it's almost invisible and it has a maximum resolution of 1200 by 2400 dpi. I have connected this printer with Mac computers, Windows computers and even smartphones and I didn't have any troubles. You need to download the software on the Epson website if you're going to connect it to a computer and the app if I want to use it with my smartphone. Just like any other Epson EcoTank printers, this does not use any ink cartridges. It comes included in the box with four bottles one black, one yellow, one magenta, and one cyan, and these are supposed to last for 5,000 copies. Now, I have not tested this number, but simply by reading what other people had experienced, you can reach 4,000 without a problem if you're printing this kind of documents. If you're printing pictures on glossy paper, well, obviously, you're gonna print less pages because this is a lot more demanding in terms of ink consumption. Loading the ink, it's very easy. You just have to pull this small door. Everything can be done in under five minutes. And the best is that it's not messy at all. Some people may be afraid of handling ink bottles, but don't worry, it's made so it doesn't spill. Now, let me talk about the things I didn't like about this printer. Well, first of all, this printer does not have any screen. The only way to interact with it is through these buttons on the top. And sometimes when you have an error, like a paper jam or something else, you're going to have these lights flashing in front of you and you won't know what it means. If it had a screen, usually it's written very clearly what's the problem and you can fix it. But in this case, you have to rely on this system, which I would say it's quite hard to understand sometimes. Fortunately, I didn't have any issue with this printer, but I imagine that if you get some problems, you may have to guess what's happening. Another thing is that over here we have the paper tray where you put your papers and it can uh, take a hundred sheets of paper, which is not bad at all. The problem is that the front paper tray where the paper comes out can only take 30 sheets of paper. This is according to Epson on their website. So if you're printing a document of 50 pages, you can't simply press print and wait for these 50 pages to come out. You'll need to remove them once it reached 30 so that the printer does not jam. And finally, another thing I wish was improved is that this printer does not have duplex printing. So you cannot print on both sides of the paper, only on one side. So if you absolutely want to print on both sides, you'll need to put back your paper there, put it the other way and print again. And this can be time consuming. So fortunately, Epson has other models that have these features, but they're a lot more expensive. But overall, I really like this printer, even if it has those small shortcomings. For me, the most important thing is that it's able to print 
4,000, 5,000 pages using the ink that comes included in the box. And for some people, it means that they won't have to buy any ink for two years at least. And even when you have to buy the ink to replace it, I think it costs about $50. I have to check again, but on Amazon to buy the all the ink bottles to refill the tanks, it's not that expensive. Check the links in the description if you want to see how much it is. But overall, it's cheap to run. And it's great that they also put a scanner over here in, in case you need a scanner from time to time. Obviously, this scanner does not have the quality of a standalone professional scanner. For documents and for very basic pictures, I think this scanner does a pretty admirable job. So thanks for watching again. If you want to get this printer, check the Amazon affiliate links down below. This supports my channel since all my videos are not sponsored by any companies. Although if Epson is watching my video right now, although I doubt, they can reach to me to see what we can do. But yeah, for now, nothing is sponsored. So check the Amazon links in the description down below. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.